everyone, I'm Natalie Forte and welcome to Be Green, the show that makes being green just a little bit easier. We have a fantastic show for you today. This episode is all about food. And since it's all about food, Greg's letting me do the whole show. Thanks, Greg. So we're gonna be going to an incredible restaurant, then we're gonna take a cooking class with Kirsten Gum, and then we're gonna end the day with some organic ice cream. Sounds like the perfect day to me. I don't know about you guys. Come with me, we're heading to Border Grill. I'm here with Mary Sue and Susan, the owners of Border Grill and the chefs. So not just owners, chefs. How are you guys doing? Great, fantastic. Oh, good. Great to be here with I you. I know. Thank you so much. I've wanted to come meet you guys for so long, and and I've been here once or twice, but it's just really exciting to be here and kind of get the inside scoop on Border fantastic. Grill. We love it, right? I After love all it. these years. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And you guys aren't just a Mexican joint. You stand for so much more, and um, I just want to hear a little bit about like. What, what you guys do here and why being sustainable is important to you? I think, you know, we have we opened our first restaurant 30 years ago and we wow. opened here like 23 plus years ago. And I think what's happened over the years is we've seen such changes, like yeah. the farmer's markets and the amazing array of them all over. Yeah. And we've gotten more and more educated, not just about food, but about sustainability and all those environmental issues that are important to us. Well, it, it makes the job more difficult to source ingredients that are local, sustainable, right. you know, as much as possible without um, hormones and antibiotics in our meats. Right. We're pretty much 100% there, so other than yeah. a couple of smoked meats. And all of the fish we serve in all of our restaurants is sustainable. We partner with Monterey Bay Aquarium. Wow. And so you can go to seafoodwatch.com so and great. understand better about how do we save our oceans and so we've gotten our chefs our whole team so excited about it but basically you know we're every single year we just bite off a little bit more and a little bit more right. to make it you know the kind of place where we want our kids to come and eat I think I it's also for business owners to know is that even if it takes a little bit more work what happens and particularly here in Santa Monica the guests respond to that. They love to know I was that you, ask. they love. They love to see that we're following all our hearts and our souls about what we believe in, and right. so sustainability and using you know organic rice and beans and using yes. the farmers market and they tour system. All that in reality, I think, actually helps to build business. Because we're in a program, Meatless Mondays, right? Yes. What can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, we encourage people to eat a lot of vegetables all the time, and on yeah. Mondays we're really, you know, joined with a, a, a movement across the country right. to get people to spend Mondays eating vegetables and, and not eating meat. Now, I know we're going to be making one of your specialty meatless dishes, right, in the kitchen. What are we making? Because I, I want to go right. in the kitchen and see We're it. doing the potato rajas dish, and okay. it's stuffed in a, in a relleno. So it's a potato rajas relleno yes. with a quinoa salad. Oh, I got a pan nice and hot here. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in, and then I'm going to throw my onions in and get them super caramelized. Just like a white here, onion? Or? Then we're going to throw in our super charred roasted sweet peppers and, and we'll spicy for, peppers. And we'll take in our diced potatoes. These right. are Yukon Golds. You so throw those one. in. Right. Oh. What do you think? Good, Good. Right? There's no That's So we do. just add a little bit of uh, a little bit of heavy cream. I've okay. got a spoon and here. Fill or as much as you want. See how so some of the poblanos we chopped up and went inside. Right. And some of the poblanos we keep cold like oh, this. Oh, you guys. I'm going to throw it in the oven for a Not second. Yet. Okay. In the oven. Perfect. And while that's happening, we'll show you how we plate it. So we get <gasps> Ooh, two, this so we get two different salsas. Salsa. And then we're going to put a quinoa salad made with both red and white quinoa. It's almost like a tabbouleh. Okay. Now yeah. that pr provides the perfect little nest. Oh, you for our roasted poblano with the peppers and potatoes. And it, it's artwork to me. Just a little bit of salsa fresca. Oh. And then talk about crunch. At the very end, we just put this gorgeous fried wow. tortilla chips. That is, okay, I said artwork before. This yeah, it takes it to another level. And wait, Are you, oh, you me. wait till you taste it. Okay. I can't wait any longer. Okay. Will you guys come with me while I yes. get in? I'll order the margaritas. Okay, good. I'll okay. share, I swear. Let's do it. Oh, ladies. Mm. You have outdone yourself. I am not kidding. I don't miss the meat at all. It's mm. so delicious. So good. Right? Thank you. Mm. People are definitely going to come down, try this dish, excuse me, right. and so many others. I know. I talk about it. <laughs> it's okay. It's a 
with a job, what are you going to do? That's right. So what's your information if people want to find you back? Well, we're at Border Grill yeah, between Broadway and Santa Monica Boulevard, right on 4th Street. Okay. We or, love our location. Or you can, you know, literally, you can find out where all of our Border Grills are. Just go to bordergrill.com and then you'll be able to know exactly where we are. Here, downtown, and in Vegas. Everywhere. It's so worth it, you guys. You are going to love it. See you here. Mm. Thank you. Oh, I love those guys. Border Grill rocks. Okay, so if you're looking for a simple tip just to green food at your own home, here's what you do. Buy in bulk and look for minimally packaged food. So easy and the co-op in Santa Monica has a lot of great options. It really does cut down on waste and saves energy. All right, let's go take our cooking class. Kirsten Gum, one of the many chefs here at the Gourmandie School. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming. Oh my gosh, thanks for having us. And for those of you that don't know, this is in the Santa Monica Place Farmer's Market, right? Yes. Okay. This, is, this is in the market section okay. of Santa Monica Place. We pride ourselves on being very local, very seasonal. It's kind of like a community kitchen. We love for people to come by. Um, you can see the whole front is glass because yeah. we want people to engage and, yes. and get intimate with their food, no matter if they're in class or if they're just watching from afar. Oh my gosh, how fun. Now how many classes are there normally a day, like throughout the week, or how does it work? Daily classes, okay. daily classes. So yeah. we try to cater to everyone's needs. If you're a yeah. mom and you have to wait for your kids to go to school, right. or if you're working all day, we also, also have night classes. So okay. I mean, you can do a morning class from like nine to noon, you can right. do a class from two to five, you can do a class from 6.30 to 9.30. So oh. whatever can fit in your schedule. I love that, and I could tell, it seems I walked in, the staff was so friendly, oh, yeah. very welcoming and approachable. Because sometimes people are intimidated by chefs, I feel like. Oh, yeah. But you, I mean, I Look. have met you, but yo, you're yeah. like, hey, yeah. let's we're, cook. We're not about the chef's jackets <laughs> here. We're about having fun, being in the kitchen and having fun. I love it. Well, I am ready to have fun right now. Can Good, because I've got locks. So we're doing raw Thai. All right, Kirsten, I'm ready to roll. Ready to roll or wrap? Ooh, I like to wrap. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Raw. <laughs> Run, 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 run. We're gonna take this lukewarm water and we're gonna just dive it into the lukewarm water. So it has to be lukewarm. Hot would be hot. You don't need it hot. And then I yeah. kind of just let it soak. Okay. Just let it kind of hang out in there for you know 15, 30 seconds. All right. Something like that. Most of the times I start with a little bit of green, so the okay. green's gonna be on the outside. All right. And then just you put it down here on the bottom. Okay. And then you just start putting on whatever you want. Pepper. You can put a little red bell pepper. I'm all about color because Me too. we need to heat from the rainbow. So then you're gonna take the little, the edge, okay, and you're gonna kind of grab it. And what you do with the rest of your fingers uh -huh. doop, 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 is you're gonna grab everything and you're gonna shove it back in because you want it to be a tight wrap. So grab from yep, here and okay. push, it, push it in towards yeah, perfect. Okay, now what? And roll it. Roll start it. Rolling. Okay. There I you go. Keep going. Tighter, huh? There you go. Oh, it is stretchy. Yeah. So cut yours at an angle. Yeah. Such a nice touch. See, look at that. This looks so gourmet. I know you're a yeah, gourmet right? chef, but this I could do this at home and then impress everyone around me. My job is done. So I can see that this is one of your new loves as an appetizer, but this is great for meals on the go, too. I mean, you can throw this in a Ziploc bag if you must. Throw it, literally. And then you can put your dip on the side. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I love this. I love, I also love promoting eating with your hands because again, it's about that connecting to your food. Done. Done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can do that. So you know what else is done is your private lesson's over because oh. class is about to start. Oh, okay. Are well, you ready to show everybody what you've learned? Maybe. I'm not going to be featured, am I? No, I'm just going to join the class. Okay. I'm going to blend in. All right. Coconut is an amazing thing and a coconut palm is an amazing thing. You're going to hold it with your left hand. You're going to shave off the quark. And you take just a little by little, and you kind of keep turning it. How's it going, everybody? Do you see the nut inside? Are you starting to see the nut? Beautiful. You really just want to get between the seed and the meat. And you can do it several different ways. I just kind of dig in there and then just kind of start working it around. And you just want to try to get as much out as possible. Oh my gosh, you guys have got to come take a class here. This is so much fun. And you can find more information at thegourmandieschool.com. And just so you know, they're located upstairs in the market area of Santa Monica Place. All right, I'm going back. Thanks, Kirsten. That was so much fun, and I really did learn a lot. All right, another simple tip to green food at home is feast on fair trade. It's good for the environment, and it's good for the employees. All right, last stop, let's get some organic ice cream at Beachy Cream. Here at 
Beachy Cream with one of the co-owners, Beth. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having good. us. Absolutely. I have to tell you, I was walking past this place the other day and it was so cute. The awning stood out, like the whole kind of vibe around it. I just love it. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. We have so much fun with our design. 40s, 50s, 60s. Yeah. And the idea came from my mom okay. and she wanted to have ice cream like she remembered from her childhood, going to Will Wright's yeah. and so she wanted it to be this full experience. So old time ice cream, old time decor, and pinup girls, of course. I know. I mean, who doesn't <laughs> love that, right? Pinup girls. And the best part is it's organic ice cream, right? It is, 100%. I love that. Now, what, why was that important to you guys? Being 100% organic is important because that's the way that we eat. Right. So we wanted to provide something for the public that they could feel good about. So even though it's an occasional treat, it's a treat you can still feel good about giving yeah. yourself. So we specialize in our ice cream sandwiches. Okay. We have prepackaged ice cream sandwiches in our six signature flavors. Mm. And then you can also build your own ice cream sandwich. So if you wanted to use for example, the coconut oatmeal cookie that we put with our key lime ice cream, if oh. you wanted to do that with our pistachio ice cream, you know, you can build you your can own. You can do it, so you can customize whatever you're in the exactly. mood for. So what else do you guys do that's eco-friendly here? Well, the bowls that we serve the ice cream in are compostable. Oh, the nice. spoons that you get are compostable as well. And I know your um, to-go wear, like the cups are compostable also, right? Yep, our, okay. for our root beer floats and our water, it's all compostable. Wonderful. And yeah. your napkins, are they special? They are. They're special? brown napkins, okay. and they're made from recycled paper, and they're also compostable. Wonderful. And you guys make everything in-house? We make Correct. everything here in the back. Okay. Everything is done, so we have our kitchen staff working 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day Whoa. making ice cream. Slave driver over here. I I'm know. <laughs> a green slave driver. It's fine. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I am dying. Can I maybe see what's going on in the back? Definitely. I know you guys are doing a little packaging and ice cream making. Yes. I'll see it. Okay. It's a lot of fun. Let's go. Yep, this is okay. our clean room. Ooh. So this is where all the ice cream magic happens. Oh, fabulous. Uh, this is our batch freezer. So what the ice cream, the ingredients get put in the top and it comes out the bottom. Okay. So we're making our vegan vanilla bean ice cream today. Is that vegan? It's unbelievable. Well, I don't think I can wait any longer. Can I please try some? Yes, okay, absolutely. Okay, let's go in the back. Okay. okay, Beth, here they are. How many flavors do you even have? We have anywhere from 12 to 14 flavors that are fresh every day. Wow. And do you switch it up like based on, you said like What's seasonal? In, exactly. Love What's it. in season. Okay, well, is it too greedy if I would try all of them? No, not okay. at all. Good. That's the best way to do it. Okay, good. So what, how should I start? Just go down the line? What do you think? Sure. Coconut oatmeal cookie is All like right. Eli, but I'm done. <laughs> I love that one. I could just take that whole. You, don't you just did like the ice right? cream Olympics. You did the whole thing. I did gold. Who went to it? meters? <laughs> I know people are going to want to come down here and try this amazing organic ice cream. So, how can they get a hold of you guys and where are you located? So, we are located at 1209 Wilshire Boulevard. If okay. If you want to follow us on Facebook, we're facebook.com forward slash beachycream. And beachycream.com? Is that the website? And beachycream.com is our website. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you I so much. I had the best time, as you can tell. <laughs> and not that I, I don't deserve one more ice cream thing, but can I take the key lime cow? I'm going to go. Absolutely. Okay. I'll get that in just a second. I got to keep eating that stuff. Thank you. Okay, one key lime cowabunga to go. Thank you so much. Bye, Beth. Bye, guys. Bye, Brianna. Do you think I've had enough food for one day? I definitely do. All right, guys, that's our show for today. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to be green.